mean, this one seems like a rivalry that's been building. We've been watching both these guys kind of rise up the ranks in Northeast Wrestling for the past couple of years, and now it's, it's come to this. It's come to the Northeast Wrestling title, uh, live title on the line. It is on the line here, Main Event Studio Wars. And I'll ask you, Matt, from the, from the perspective of somebody who's been in there before, what is going through Brad Hollister's mind knowing that the last time he was unsuccessful? I think Brad Hollister wants to strike quick, get this done as fast as possible, come in with some power moves, because Christian Casanova, I mean, look at the guy. He's cardio all day, so you don't want to go a long fight with him. Here we go. This is hot. Casanova out of the way. And previously on Studio Wars, if you've gone back and watched, Brad Hollister always came out like a bull in a china shop, but and I think Casanova had his homework done. I think a two out of three fall match. Brad Hollister wants to get that first fall done as soon as possible. The suplex there, Christian getting right out of it. Armbar takedown, Fujiwara style, as Casanova trying to control that arm. If he can take those arms away, from Hollister, that German suplex is going to be a little bit hard. No doubt, but I mean, you know, these guys obviously have a rivalry. Wouldn't you go after that knee of Brad Hollister and see if that thing is? You could. It's only been uh, it's been about a year since Brad Hollister went under ACS surgery, but we saw him here on Studio Wars. We saw him at uh, March Mayhem of last year or two years ago. Now, but very dominant, still coming in hot, putting his opponents away. But John Roy, you're a guy that has had ACL surgery like myself, and you know that that thing is never the same again. Side headlock there. It's basically a coin toss there. Does he does he cut him down from the knee, or does he take away the suplex? Yeah. Casanova side headlock from the standing position. Hollister back to his feet as well. Hollister with the size advantage, but we all know how athletic he can be when he needs to. So it's, it's not as if Casanova has too much of an advantage. You say size advantage, look at Christian Casanova. He sh he shred. But that's where I think the cardio is going to come in favor of Christian Casanova. If this thing goes long, it's a two out of three fall match. I mean, it is gonna go long in the first place, but if this thing really kind of drags out, you gotta put your money on Casanova. I mean, he does look better than half of my action figures. <laughs> Taking his cardiovascular conditioning very, very seriously over the last six months or so, I would say he's gone into another year, which I didn't even think was possible for him to have, but he is at peak physical condition, and Hollister is going to have to find a way to work around that and try to get it done a little bit more. But look at this already. Oh, hold on! Hooking Lariat off the second rope from Casanova. But I mean, we just saw a break that wasn't a clean break, a little bit of arguing between these two. I think, you know, these two respect each other, but I think this uh, friendly competition might have turned a little more serious, at least for Christian Casanova. Drops the leg backwards, makes the cover. Two count. Two, big bacon. Staying down, rolling out of the ring now. But do you think the trash talk is going to get you Casanova's head? No, I mean, you know, Casanova's got that swag, and Big Bacon is is, uh, is not shy when it comes to the trash talk as well. I don't think it's really going to affect mostly either one of these guys, because I think they're used to talking trash talk. The kick to the gut. It's a two-man roll on the outside. This is a two out of three falls match, so you've seen a lot more trash talk than normal. That one, watch that one caught Hollister hard. He screamed out in pain. Off the, the stairs way. goes the face of Hollister. They get that poor cameraman out of the way before he got the damage done to him. And there's another chop from the top talent, but Hollister, as we know, is always going to fight back. Got to watch this count. Big right hand from Casanova. There you go. Goes in to break the clip. That is. Listen, I'm, I'm kind of surprised Casanova's going down low. You would think Hollister would have an advantage on a brawl on the floor. I think those two guys just started splitting the stairs. You can see him coming apart. The seams from Bacon's head going through. Casanova out here in front of us. Continuing to try to fight, and this is what I'm talking about. He doesn't want to be out here for long. <laughs> and his lower back bounced you know, off the edge of the mat. Paul, you brought up a good point if this trash talking was going to affect Christian Casanova, and I kind of brushed it off thinking it wouldn't, but obviously he is now playing Brad Hollister's game, so maybe it did have some effect on him. Oh my 
goodness. Oh, shot for shot, Bacon a little stronger. And it's as if the second win just shot into Brad Hollister's lungs. He is up on his feet, knowing that he has maybe his last chance at the Northeast Wrestling Divide Championship. And he has to make it count. Hold on. Going under the ring. Oh, no, this is a smart move. Not a no deal. And this is this is very unlike Hollister, but he is he's become a little bit unhinged, maybe. I, I don't know. This is a different attitude from Brad. Thank you, Rev. Oof. Doesn't get to use it. Kicked in the head by Casanova. Chair back to the ground. Casanova! Oh, spun him around. It oh, wasn't a DDT. Looked like he was going that way at first, but it was almost it. like a neck breaker, but it got most of the lower back of Hollister. Brad Hollister tried as hard as he could to hold on, but obviously it didn't work out in the end. Christian Casanova got the best of that experience. Either way, spine first on the edge of the ring. He's going to take you down for a little while. Bacon working his way to his feet. Hollister rolled into the ring here. Main event, Studio Wars, Paul Cronkett, John Roy, and Matt Taven as Christian Casanova looks to retain that NEW Live Championship once again against Big Bacon, Brad Hollister. Makes the cover. Quick pin. Oh, that's just to wear him down. He knew he wasn't going to get the three on that. It took too much time to get there. And you can see Hollister down on the mat, Casanova looking to maybe put this one away, calling for the sucker kick. Polish out of the way. Oh, into it, through the German. Casanova lands on his feet. Here it comes. Dirty Diana. Early. Picking up one. Oh. 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 Almost got that first fall. I thought he was going to get that first fall early. I am shocked that, that Brad Hollister just kicked out of that Dirty Diana, but again, Brad Hollister is a guy that has proven a lot here in Northeast Wrestling. You wouldn't expect anything less from him. Brad Hollister determined to pick up another check mark under that title list. Casanova continuing to talk to Hollister, saying, I'm not hearing you talk now. And this could be a little bit of an opening for Hollister. I think Casanova needs to stay on. Would Brad Hollister be the first man to hold the Eddie Eddie Live title and uh, the Northeast Wrestling title? I think he would. He'd also be the second man to hold the title. Yeah, that makes sense, right? On him! German suplex, no landing on his feet for Casanova that Ooh. time, but he bounced right back with that code breaker and Hollister out to the floor. Smart move. Yeah. Close smart to move. the chair he brought into play a little bit earlier. It's going to come back around. But a very smart move from Hollister. You know, he hit him with that, that beautiful German suplex, but obviously it wasn't enough, so you got to get a quick time out. Casanova's going to take a big risk here. Caught him with the chair head first, and he just got himself disqualified. Is this on, is this on purpose? This might be a brilliant, this might be a brilliant move. Hollister getting himself disqualified, but Matt, I can't disagree with this, you. This might be an absolutely genius move right here. I would stay on him, stay on him. Yeah, I mean, if he can keep going on him, he just hit him in the head with a chair. Casanova is rocked. Hollister, he's gonna have to get too straight, but this could be a good strategy. Yeah, we've seen him, we saw his dominance here in previous episodes of Studio Wars, but this shows you how much he wants that title. Go to any length you get. Right here, you got here we go, go fall pounce, number pounce. two. <laughs> right Sent into out it. Power bomb. Smart. He got him. And we're even. Very smart move, very and smart the move. of the second pinfall, Brad. Okay, real quick. I, I don't know, but we can talk about that at another time. I Brad Kurt Hollister and Christian Casanova tied here at one. And this is it. One fall for everything, for that NEW Live Championship. I mean, if, if you're Brad Hollister, you try to power bomb him right now, right again. As soon as that bell rings for, for the third time, you try to just do the same thing again. Once our referee determines that Casanova can go, He's going for it. we are on. Do it again. Here we go. Do it again. Do it again. And he's going to do it again. And this is going to be it for the title reign of Christian Smart. Casanova. Oh, no. Caught him with the knee. 
The top talent fighting back. We are even at one fall apiece. All right, we're sudden death. Whoever takes the next fall is our champion. Big shot from the top ten. Casanova yes, just across that big meaty chest of Brad Hollister, but he's got him from the waist. Look wow. at the strength, follows wow. up with it. the senton. He makes the cover. Oh, no, so no. close. So close. Bacon almost walking away as the second ever Northeast Wrestling Live Champion. Out at two was Casanova. Unbelievable. And Hollister, you can see it in his face, Matt Taven. He thought that was it. I thought that was it. I was pretty sure that, that, that we just saw a new Northeast Wrestling Live champion. Uh, but that just goes to show you why Christian Casanova is the champion in the first place. And Hollister going to the head of Casanova. It looks like he doesn't know where to go next. I mean, he, he, he went at him with that chair. He obviously has, has done some damage to the back. If it was me, I'd be focusing like a laser on that little back. Judo tosses him straight down, holding on to that head. Can't keep both shoulders down on the mat, but he's just trying to grind him away now. I mean, another man, it's very smart to do. You gotta keep casting over ground, and once he starts flying, I mean, we've seen it. That man floats through the air. Mm -hmm. I think once those strikes start going off on Bacon, could be it for Bacon. But he is a fighting champion, is Casanova. He is continuing to try to pick away at Hollister to get out of harm's way, but he is being battered. See, I don't know if these strikes by Casanova is a smart move. It seems to be just pissing Brad Hollister off, and he's in a much better position to lay down some hammer strikes on him. If I was Christian Casanova, I'd try to use some finesse. Okay. <laughs> a little finesse there. Yeah, a little finesse. I don't know. Back to where he was. A lot more finesse by Bacon. <laughs> if I was Christian Casanova, I'd be looking for a quick pin. Trying to catch Brad Hollister quick with a roll up, try to get in and out of here as soon as possible. Well, he's just looking for his equilibrium right now. Hollister is just all over him, holding, clasping his hands to try to stay out. Not a fight. Good. Brad changes it up. Obviously, he was looking to, to bow those hands of Christian Casanova, but he wouldn't give it to him, so it was a smart move by changing it up by Hollister. You know, I gotta say, it's a different type of match here than I expected initially. We've seen these two in the ring before, and it's usually 0 to 60 in, in a second. But right now, they're just, it's, it's been power. They're just looking to put the other person just down. I think that's because they're so familiar with one another. Hollister against the ropes. Sends Casanova oh, to the no. floor. Casanova, again, talking about floating, he floated over the top rope in a different kind of way, though. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to land on that apron. He went all the way down face first on the hard part of the ring, and he goes into that The hard that part barrier. of the guardrail. Into that barrier. You see that chair sitting out there still. Some would say the hardest part of the guardrail. Hollister goes right by it. He is focused on Casanova. He sees that championship in his sights. He sees it right there. Here's the other thing he's got to worry about. A double count out puts this title right back in Christian Casanova's hands right now. So Brad's got to be aware of that count at all times. Casanova. We're up to five on the count as Casanova trying to get all the kinks out. Hollister. Looks like he's in that corner. Nowhere down. to go. Ooh, oh, for Casanova it. went for it, that and he change. went knee first. And regardless of the knee pad, he still caught some of that knee cap. That could change everything right now. Bacon waiting for that knee. Had his eyes locked on Christian Casanova as he came in quick. Getting out of the way. And I Casanova, think, yeah. I think Bacon knows he's going to drive yes. the seat right now. Casanova, guys, like a wounded animal. Mm -hmm. He's going to stay driving. You can't put it on an oil pilot. A lot of confidence in Bacon's face. Oh. Shot to the bread basket. Casanova trying to keep Hollister away from him as much as possible. He knows he's on one leg right now. Is that where you keep your bread? German suplex. Hooks the leg. We could be seeing a new champion, but nope. Casanova out once again at two and Bacon right back to the head. I know Bacon's been working this, but after that knee to the, to the guard row, I would be all over Christian Casanova's knees. I know I've been saying both guys should go for each other's knees, but <laughs> at this point, I mean, there's a bullseye on Casanova's. And he maybe, maybe he thinks he can put him to sleep here. I don't know what he's thinking. It's going to be running through his head. The chair didn't take him out for good. The multiple guardrail shots didn't take him out. He went for the suplexes. Christian reversed it. I think Bacon's running out of stuff to do. Could be. 
the look on his face just says it all. Casanova in a world of pain. He could go out at any second if Hollister continues to go after that neck. Oh, Christian's starting to fade. Could be out. Let's see, let's see. He's gonna be checked. There's one. There's two, one more, and we have a new champion. No, no, no. Oh, middle finger! And Casanova letting him know he is still in this fight. Right back up. Casanova playing possum almost. A lot of times you use that hand check to catch headbutt. your breath, and that's exactly what Christian Casanova did. There's the headbutt. Casanova rolls through. Dirty oh, Diana connects. This is it. This is it. Second Suck one. Kick incoming. He hit it. I think Casanova might retain. It's all Dude. over. Oh, <laughs> deep hook of that leg, but Bacon managed to get no. his shoulder up. I, have you ever seen anyone kick out of that? I have never. I was. This is the second time in this match where I was positive it was over, and this time I, I was ready to look at Dexter Liu and tell him to ring the bell and announce that Christian Casanova is still the Northeast Wrestling Live Champion. I have never, ever seen anyone kick out of that sucker kick from Christian Casanova. Maybe that knee damage from earlier didn't give him the strength and the torque he usually has on it, but nonetheless, he has to be shocked. And not even just the sucker kick ball. That was okay. right after the second Dirty Diane. Yes. You know, there's a lot of times when you test your wheels, especially if you have a bad one, and it looks like Christian Casanova didn't like what he just uh, what he just felt in, in his knee right there. And you got to wonder how much this is going to affect Christian Casanova. A lot of his offense is, is flying and moving around on those knees. Casanova is not used to having something else to go to here, so he is going through his mind what he's going to do next. Waiting for Hollister to get going to all the way feet. Up. Yeah. He's caught. Oh, he's going all the way down. He got caught by Hollister. And just like that, Hollister is back in this one, but does he have enough left in his tank to get that championship around his waist? Bring him back inside the ring. He's gonna be in perfect position to pin him right after this. Superplex, get oh, the superplex! Pin him, pin him, that's it. Deadlift superplex! No! 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 Right in the middle of the ring. Holy cow. Deadlift superplex from Big Bacon. Not enough to put the champion away. And now we have a good old fashioned stalemate. Christian's got to know his championship is in danger right now. But there's the power from Big Bacon. When, when he went for that superplex, Christian was still on the, the bottom middle rope. Bacon lifted him right over the top. No hesitation at the. In, Threw him across the, the ring. ring. The purest deadlift that you will see off a suplex from Brad Hollister. And now Hollister, it looks like he's in a little bit of control and he is returning the favor. That is a little receipt for you, Christian. I'm gonna have so much editing to do. <laughs> As now, bringing Casanova to his feet by the hair, dragging it up. What is he going to do? What does he he's have to do with to put him away? I mean, it was oh, no. for a top Is he going for suplex to the outside? I don't know what he's going for. Christian's fighting it, which he needs to. He needs to. He's, he's in trouble right now if Brad hits whatever he's thinking about. She gets out of it, though. Comes in quick. Look at that high kick. Caught him on the chin. Watch that knee, though. Rolls him through. Going to that top rope quickly. Going to try a sucker kick from the top. Mm. He hit it. He tried. He got it. But, but again, that knee, knee that knee, that knee, that knee. Casanova's knee is hurt. See what you did, Matt. He makes the cover. You have got to be kidding me. What? That you knee. have got to be kidding me. The knee yep. of Casanova yep. has cost him once again. He couldn't make that cover quick enough. No, I mean there, there's there's times where the pain that that runs through your leg from that from a knee injury yes. will will stop you in your tracks, and that's exactly what happened to Christian Casanova. You're gonna go for it again, perhaps. See him a little wobbly up there, favoring the leg. Second. The second rope. Nope. Caught. Oh. Caught Hollister. Rolls him up. No. no kick out from Casanova. Out of the schoolboy. Charges in, catches his knee. Waiting for it again. Big power bomb. Goodness. Doesn't even let go. My goodness. Yes. Wow. Hammer. We wow. are. We got a new winner. Wow. We have a new live champion. That's my we guy right there. Hollister has.
had in his arsenal and then some, but finally, he was able to achieve what he has been looking to do the entire time, and we have a new live champion. I mean, I think it's official. Brad Hollister is back and better than he's ever been because that was an absolute war between two of the best. I mean, and, and what a list of records have broken. He, he defeated the undefeated Northeast Wrestling Live Champion. As you mentioned, Matt, he's the first ever Northeast Wrestling Heavyweight Champion and Live Champion. And Big Bacon, I think, I, I think we're going to see another long title reign from someone who holds that belt. That was a hell of a performance from Big Bacon, Brad Hollister, but let's give our hats off to the former champion, Christian Casanova. Great he knows champion. he went in there, and he fought like a great champion. But folks, for Matt Taven, for John Roy, let's give it up to the new NEW Live Champion, Big Bacon, Brad, Brad Hollister. Hollister, baby. Dude. We'll see you next week, everybody.